And to create your first bot, you go to my bots over here on the left and click create bot. You need to give your bot a name. Let's just call them test bot for this purpose. And when you hit the return button, you know, it'll have the option of creating the bot. Now, here's an important screen. You're going to use this screen a lot. And on the right, you'll see this fill in with uh, editing tools, which are going to be really powerful ones. But we're going to keep it very simple for now. And we'll start with the first interaction that your bot's going to have. So you click that, and then you choose the interaction type. Now, there's loads of types, and we'll give you videos to talk about and explain these different types. But the core type of interaction is one where the bot is communicating with, through a statement and expecting some kind of answer. So we'll go with a statement. You've got to give the each interaction a name. Let's call this one hello. It can be the introductory interaction. And again, when you press carriage return, having typed the name, there you'll see you've got your editing tools for what's going to happen with this interaction. This actor, it, it, well, it's going to be a greeting. So let's see. Hi there. Uh, I'm a chatbot. Would you like to talk to me? As the that's what the bat message is going to be now we're going to look at the responses people could give and sort of start to branch out the conversation but to do that we need the answers to link to other interactions so i'm going to create another interaction that we can link an answer to so my other interaction is also going to be a statement and it's going to be goodbye this is it going to be the simplest part ever um, so we have a hello interaction and a goodbye interaction, and the goodbye message would simply be goodbye. Now the hello, we've got this question, would you like to talk to me? And this is where you start to really get to grips with creating a good bot. Because you see I clicked the um, connect this interaction, and here we have a nice logical uh, sort of set of instructions for the bot to act on. If, and you could choose the three responses, but I'm going to choose if the response to this interaction is or contains the whole word no, uh, let's just click it. there we go, no, and I'm going to put it in small capitals as well because it's case sensitive, the answers, then go to our other interaction, goodbye. So there we've set up now the bot gives you the message, hi there on the chat bot. And then in, it hears a no in reply, it's going to go to the goodbye. Simple, right? Well, let's just test it to it actually work. So did you see the test the bot in the right-hand corner? It's always good to test your bot at different stages uh, when you've added on a few layers. Hi there, I'm a chat bot. Would you like to talk to me? No. Goodbye. There you go. <laughs> so that's it, the start of your sophisticated bot. It's going to do so much more, but you want this video if this is the first time you've used the Snatchbot platform.